Hi friend, in today's video, I'm going to show you some of my top overnight hair care tips that it will keep your hair healthy and growing while you sleep. So if you enjoy, don't forget to like it. And let's start with the first overnight hair care tip, which is avoiding sleeping with wet hair. If you want to keep your hair healthy, one of the top rules is to never go to bed with wet hair. I get it. I've done it. I love the texture next day. But the reality is when your hair is wet, it's extremely fragile and flexible, which is not a good thing because it makes it more prone to stretching and breaking. Something you can do to avoid pillow induced damage is to wash your hair a few hours before bed if you like to air dry your hair. It's even better to use the hair dryer to get your hair dry than sleeping with damp hair during the night. I usually wash my hair in the morning so that it has all the time to get dry and if for any reason I have to wash my hair at night, I use a microfiber towel to accelerate the drying process. My next overnight hair care tip is detangle your hair with a boar bristle brush. Using boar bristle brushes to brush your hair at night is the best thing you can do. These specific brushes are well known for dragging the natural oils from your scalp all the way to the ends of your hair. So as a result, your roots will be less oily the next day. Your hair will also get naturally conditioned because it's distributing these oils much better than other brushes. So you'll experience more shiny, healthy, and less frizzy hair. So here's how to use a boar bristle brush correctly. So before you go to bed, start detangling from ends to roots and then proceed to part your hair in sections and brush those sections. So in this way, you can get those natural oils stuck in tricky spots around your roots while distributed. And after this, brush the roots one more time to make sure everything is brushed away and enjoying feeling your hair so silky. I personally love these brushes because they help you to catch dirt and fuzz that usually build up on your hair and scalp and that's why this brush Brushes can help you to make your hair look cleaner and less greasy the next day. One simple way to retain moisture in your hair at night is to use a hydrating hair serum. Overnight treatments like hair serums or even natural oils are great ways to give your hair a boost of hydration and reduce tangles while you sleep. When you apply oils before bed, you're going to be able to coat your strands, preventing friction during the night, which can benefit your hair over time by reducing split ends, unwanted frizz, and breakage. So the way you use a hair oil serum at night is super simple. Before you go to bed and after detangling your hair, Hair, you're gonna apply on the palm of your hand three drops of your favorite hair serum and then the trick here is to rub the serum in between your fingers in this exact way. Now, using your fingers as a comb, you're going to apply the oil from mid to the ends of your hair, always avoiding the scalp. This hack works wonders because it ensures you're getting the oil even in the inner parts of your hair, not only on the outer layer. I usually use hair serums the most because it is more convenient and less greasy for my ends. But in some cases, when my hair is suffering from dryness, I really like to switch to argan oil as a way to treat this problem overnight. Another incredible way to maintain your hair healthy and in constant growth while you sleep is to practice scalp massages at night. There's no doubt scalp massages are one of the top best hair growth treatments you can implement in your hair care routine, but specifically at night, you don't want to skip them. A proper scalp massage can not only be relaxing and help you to fall asleep deeper, it's also an effective way to stimulate blood flow to your hair follicles, which ultimately is what keeps your scalp healthy and it can grow your hair thicker and longer. The wonderful thing about scalp massages is that there are many different ones you can practice using with your hands like skull over scalp massage, detomensis therapy, reverse inversion method, which are the best ones. And if you don't like to use your hands because sometimes it feels tired, you can use tools like this ones. There are many other ones that provide a deep robust massage on your scalp. By the way, I just gotta say this feels like a little robot is gently walking on my scalp in a squeeze using it in the most relaxing, amazing way possible. It feels incredible. When you do scalp massages, always do them for a minimum of 10 minutes to effectively activate the blood flow into the scalp. And just take this time to enjoy, to take a break from all the worries so that your body in general benefits from this wonderful practice. 
A major cause of hair breakage during the night, it can be due to the pillows you use. So my next overnight haircut tip is to sleep on a silk pillowcase. Cotton pillowcases are like sandpaper for your hair. Because of its rough material, they can cause breakage in tingles. It can even prevent your hair from growing past the shoulders because of all the constant friction of you tossing and turning during the night. Switching to silk or even satin pillowcases can help you to keep your hair in healthy conditions since they are smoother than other fabrics and therefore it's gonna be more gentle on your hair and skin during the night. Silk pillowcases work wonders for those times where I don't want to sleep with a protective style so at least I know my hair is taken care of for the night and the amazing thing is that the next day my hair barely has tangles and it looks so smooth and so beautiful. I used to sleep with my hair loose and no wonder why I had tons of frizzy roots and rough ends which is not a healthy hair sign. So to fix this, my next overnight hair care tip is covering your hair with a silk bonnet. Using a hair cap or a silk bonnet at night will shield your hair from rubbing against your pillows, your clothes, your sheets, helping you to keep friction at night to a minimum which can definitely prevent your hair from splitting more frequently. Plus hair caps lock in any products you use on your hair before bed meaning that they actually absorb into your hair, not on your pillowcase. So the way you use this is pretty simple. All you gotta do is after your night massage and hair serum, you're gonna tuck away your hair. I usually do a lower bun like this and then you put on the hair cap and go to bed. However, if you're not able to have a silk bonnet or a hair cap, it is much better to braid your hair before bed than sleeping with loose hair. I've been using silk bonnets for many years and all I can say is that this is the most simple way to wake up with nice looking healthy hair. If you have a style, it will definitely preserve it to the next day. Also, this is like an overnight hair treatment because since I started using them, the breakage in the back of my head is gone and now I'm able to retain length much better than when I was not using them. I was one of those people that didn't think taking care of my hair at night was a must thing to do when I used to just go to bed and whatever, you know, I'll figure it out my hair the next day. I started implementing a lot of these good habits in my nighttime hair care routine. My hair started to look less frizzy, less breakage, more smooth, more shiny, so many great things. The improvement that I experienced was like really impressive. So I really hope that from now on you implement some of these things. You can implement them all and that will be great, fantastic. So then your hair can grow healthy, very long, very beautiful. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to share some love to me by subscribing to this channel right here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll get to see you in the next video, pura vida.